Alright, what's up guys? Phil here from iPodTouchBaller.com. Before I get started with the original purpose of this video, um, just gonna let you guys know something. As you know, in a previous video, I stated that my music skins giveaway would happen sometime this week via Blog TV. Uh, well, I've decided to get away from that idea, guys. Uh, you know, it was just too much of a hassle and everything getting on Blog TV to do that. So what I'm going to do is, uh, right now, on YouTube, I am at 689 subscribers. I will have a Music Skins giveaway when I hit 700, you guys. So if you are subscribed to me, get your friends to subscribe. And um, if you're not, please do subscribe. And once I hit 700, I'll have that video out. And um, I will have my Music Skins giveaway. Now, I'll only be giving away one skin then, and my second skin when I hit around 725. Also, uh, I should be having another giveaway soon of an actual case. Haven't decided exactly when this has happened, but I think it'll happen more likely with 750. So, that'll be my actual case. I will be giving away a PDO top skin. And, um, yeah, and whenever I hit partner, okay, guys? Whenever I hit partner, there's a good chance I could do a giveaway of a, um... Let's see what I can do. I'll probably do, for partner, I will probably do, hold up, no, scratch that, alright, 750, I'll give away Shades case, I know that's not the best case in the world, a lot of people don't like it, but um, yeah, that'll be at 750, and when I hit partner, when I make partner, I'll give away a PDO top skin and a PDO sleek, so yeah, you guys. That's all about that. Now let's get on with the app overview, which is the reason for this video. In this video, I will go over seven apps. These apps are this row right here, and these last two. Seeing as how I've already wasted two minutes of this, I don't really know if I'll be able to get to the last one, seeing as the last one takes up the most time. But we'll get started with Backyard Soccer. This app is 99 cents in the App Store. Let's open this up. It is in landscape mode. Alright guys, in this one, you're Joey and you're in the corner kick competition. In order to get past this game, you have to pass the ball to your teammates who then shoot it into the goal for a corner kick. Very simple method of playing this game, but that's pretty much one of the biggest downfalls of this game. It doesn't really serve much of a challenge. So it's very easy to beat this game um, until at least you, at least until you get to about level two and three when you start having a goalie to worry about two. But until that, this game is very simple and easy to beat. Well, at here level two you'll see you also have a goalie now and the defenders are moving a little faster. So it does make it a little bit more of a challenge. But, you know, still overall an easy app and recommended if you're a younger kid. Wow. Alright guys. Sorry about that. Um, next, we have the Backyard Hockey app. Made by the same people as Backyard Soccer and Backyard Baseball, which I have not gotten around to uh, putting on my iPod. Do I did buy it, though, and I did not get around to putting it on my iPod. Uh, Backyard Hockey, also available for $0.99. Cents. And in this app, you're Pablo, instead of Joey. You're Pablo, and you're playing hockey. whoop de doo Let's play some hockey. <laughs> you have five people you have to go against in all. And in order to shoot, the slap shot you do is tap the screen when the puck gets near you. As in, like, bam. You know, it's a pretty simple game, once again. Not really that much of a challenge to it as a, like, real iPhone game. When you see all kinds of other sports games pretty much right behind it so it doesn't really show, serve that much of a challenge um, the biggest challenge I see with that game actually is uh, scoring on yourself next we have that's what she said free app everybody knows this sorry about that hit the wrong one I accidentally hit edge I'm pretty sure uh, yeah but uh, let's go into that's what she said pretty simple app there's a big red button I'm gonna move my mic closer there's a big red button and it says she said that's what she said or he said very simple hit the little eye down here and you'll get a list of instructions of the best times when to do it 
And, uh, yeah. Very simple app. Free in the App Store. Um, next, we have Monospace. Right there. Right beside that. So she said. This is a $2 app. $1.99. And this app is one of the best examples of 3D I've seen in a while. And the second best I've seen. The other, another one that's one of the best is actually the next app, which is Edge. But I'll get to that in a second. Monospace. Uh, you're in a 3D cube environment. I'll show you this. Uh, you can move it around. Side to side, whatever. And in order to beat the game, you have to get this into 2D mode by double tapping. And then you have to get rid of all the white blocks. Alright? You're the blue block. You're the big one. You want to get rid of everyone else. Double tap. And, uh, yeah. Pretty simple. Whoa. Hold on, you guys. I don't know if you can really hear that. What just happened? My keyboard fell. Um, <laughs> stay. All right. And my mouse turned around. Hold up. Okay. Try to play that off. <laughs> uh, next, we have Edge, another good 3D game. This one's $4.99. Um, I actually think this one, either the price of this one should go down or the price of Monospace should go up because they're both like the same kind of 3Dness in it. Uh, and this app. It's like blockers, as you can see there. I'm going to start the edge challenge. Continue. And in this app, you just keep going on like in blockers. Alright, guys, let me see if I can get any better. Not really. Can't really see it that well, guys. But, uh, you're a mother multicolor changing block, and you have to get through this whole like world of sliding panels and stuff uh... it's very fun um, and i'm running out of time uh... so i don't know if i'll get to x-play in extreme so i'll just tell you about it after i do random number this is random number uh... surprisingly this one is not free it is ninety nine cents i wish it were free i think it needs to be free because honestly i don't want to pay a dollar in order to just get a random number generator I'm glad I got a promo code for it. Um, you hit, you put in two numbers between blank and blank. I have it uh, between um, 1 and 689, because that's how many subscribers I have right now. You hit generate, and it picks a random number in between it. I'm thinking about using this for a, for a future giveaway, whenever I hit my 700, when I can give away my music skins. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I have about two minutes left, so I think I'll be able to get X-Plane in. Uh, this is X-Plane Extreme. Uh, let me focus. That's going to take up a lot of time. So let's just hurry up. Ooh, wrong app. Right, X-Plane Extreme. I don't have much time. About a minute, 30 seconds. All right. So in this app, you have it's uh, $10, $9.99. And it's a plane emulator, so you pretty much fly. Um, and you just fly the plane. Um, I would go into this with a lot more detail, but I'm running out of time, so. It is $10 in the App Store. Um, great app, and, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, guys, quick recap. Um, Backyard Soccer, 99 cents. Backyard Hockey, 99 cents. That's what she said. Free Monospace, $1.99. Edge, $4.99. Random number, 99 cents. And Explain Extreme, $9.99. All prices are subject subject to change, of course. Um, Phil here, remember, 700 subscribers. That's 11 subscribers away. Music spin, skins are given away. So comment, rate, subscribe. Later.